up until the formation of America, do you know what human life was like? This is what human history was. You were probably born as a serf or a slave. Most human beings lived as slaves for over a thousand years. Just think about that. You were probably born as a serf or a slave. They'd be carted off to go fight some stupid, silly war for some tyrant that doesn't matter, for some superficial reason. If you're lucky, you'll survive that war. You might get married and have kids, but you won't accumulate any wealth, and you'll probably die of some terrible disease by age 33. That was human history for about 1,500, 2,000 years. Then an absolute miracle happened, and it happened because of the ideas from the Scottish Enlightenment implemented by the courageous Americans, where the Founding Fathers won a revolution, and then they, they decided to give that power back. It's never happened before in human history. Every person who wins a war usually keeps that power. You think Napoleon ever gave power back to the people? You think Alexander Great ever gave power back to the people? Genghis Khan, the great military leaders in human history? You think Julius Caesar? They had to kill Julius Caesar because he wouldn't give up power. And the founding fathers, Thomas Jefferson, Madison, and Adams, and Washington, they had the humility and they had the understanding and appreciation of history, which I'm afraid we're losing right now, to give up that power and to voluntarily give it back to the people. It's never happened before. And they said this might not work. Can people be free? Can they be responsible? They didn't know, because it very well could have not worked. People could have just run amok and maybe the you know, whole tyranny thing needed to continue to happen. And this experiment has been duplicated and replicated in every experiment across the world that has been a net positive for humanity. Every country that works has copied the American model in one way or the other.